Okay, these black dots on the tip of the cryptomeria, those are the fruiting bodies of the tip light. Possibly Phytophthora, possibly Cabotina tip light. I just want to show you that up close. Here's more back there, right there. See those tiny black dots on the, the dead foliage? That's my clue that this is a fungus affecting cryptomeria. These are Yoshino variety cryptomeria planted in Tennessee. And some trees are affected, some are not. You see a lot of healthy ones. You see some that are completely dead. You see some with big dieback. I'll show you the rest of mine. I have mixed results. Supposedly the radicans is more resistant to this, but the Yoshino is definitely susceptible. Not to mention they um, can get killed back by early frost in the fall as well. So, um, Cryptomeria is uh, probably not the best to plant. It's not the most reliable, even though you see some great examples, some big specimens. Let me show you the others. Here's another one. Doing pretty good, growing a lot vertically, but the tip light just makes the foliage look terrible. And really it's up to the next year's foliage to grow back and replace what died the year before. Here's a Cryptomeria radicans. Once again, these are all Cryptomeria japonica. This is the radicans cultivar. Supposedly more resistant to plights. Supposedly stays more green in the winter. The Yoshino is definitely bronze in the winter. But when I got this one from forestfarm.com, it was also bronzed. But I don't even really care about that. I just want resistance to the tip light. So I just planted this a month ago. We'll see what it does this year. Here are four of the Yoshinos planted last spring, and I'm already starting to see some evidence, especially on this one, that the tip light is taking hold. And the only other plants that I have that are really affected by tip light are um, Rocky Mountain Juniper, besides Cryptomeria. So it's definitely susceptible. Here's one where the top died out completely and I had to cut it out. And now it's established two new leaders, which is a little bit of a problem. But the rest of the tree is doing pretty good after that. It's kind of unusual. Only the top died and the rest kept going. Here's the other problem with these cryptum areas. This one looks great superficially, but if I get a lot closer all the way inside it, you can see the trunk is split, and this actually happened to several of the cryptum areas. I don't know what causes that. The tree seems to keep growing, but I don't like the idea of having an open wound on my tree.